everybody. Welcome back. We're in the OC this evening. It's Ducks country as we get ready to drop the puck here for EA Sports. A lot of bounce on both blue lines here, and we are about set to drop the puck here at center. The Ducks win the draw, and they'll start on the attack. Fowler's got it in the offensive zone, and that's taken by the defense. Great reach with the poke chip. Here's a short pass to Matrano. Picked up along the wall by Carlson. Quick feed to Kalor. Huge stop by Gustafson. Well, this save was way more difficult than it looked, James. I mean, there's so much traffic in front that he's fighting through to see, and he finds the puck to make the save. And he denied him there. That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but his team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high-danger scoring chances eventually go in. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. Oh, I know what he was trying to do there, James. He thought he had it with that move, but he created some space for himself, but unfortunately loses the handle and it dies on his stick. Moves the pass in front, and he couldn't handle the pass as he was knocked off target. Came up with a nice save. Put the backhand in front. Oh, gigantic save by Gustafson. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Still scoreless in this one. Minnesota's gonna start with the puck in their own end. Slides the puck ahead to Rossi. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Johansson. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. And he's knocked off the puck there. Minnesota's got the puck. Anaheim's got the puck in their own end. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move, and the puck disagreed with him. Anaheim's looking to break out. Moves the puck. Fires it, and the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Nearing the midway mark of the period. Still looking for our first goal. Great read by the winger to take possession with the two centermen tied up. Zuccarello's got it against the boards. The Ducks have it now. Anaheim's through center right now in the offensive end. Tried to make a move and the puck hops away. Silverberg's known for his creativity and he tries one too many moves there and he loses the puck. Scooped up along the wall by Felino. Let's it go! Just got enough to keep it out. Centers are lined up, and we are ready to resume. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. And he takes the feed. Moves it to Middleton. Pass to Shaw. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. More than half the period has expired. We're still scoreless. The Ducks come up with the defensive zone draw. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Cutting to the slot. Quick stop. Big save by the goaltender watching that one. Sends it in deep. Anaheim's gained possession along the boards. Quick pass to Johnston. They've got some momentum here. Minnesota's got the puck. Big hit, and that frees up possession. Puck scooped up by Felino. Big time hit along the boards, and there's no give there. Well, there isn't, and you can just feel the rumble of the boards from up here. Just bone crushing, separating body from puck. The Wild have the puck on the attack. Denies him!
And they'll start with possession. And he gets in front of it to block it. Knocked off the puck. Grabs it in his own end. The Ducks play it along the boards. Here's a shot. Denies him in front. Moves it quickly over to Kalorn. That's some smart heads up defensive play by Bogosian. Here's a short pass to Kaprizov. Shot and makes the save. Referee's hand shoots high in the air. Looks like we got a tripping penalty coming up. And the player is whistled dead. Here's the call. Another stick infraction, and you know that coaches don't like this one. A product of not being in good position, reaching, and then taking the trip because you weren't moving your feet. Defensive zone, they get the puck. Minnesota's on the attack. Oh, what a save on the play! Oh, that's such an athletic save, James. I mean, that's just all about competing, finding a way to get to the puck. And great hustle to come up with the puck. They fight for it along the boards. Anaheim's got a hold of it along the wall. The Ducks get a hold of it. Moves across the point. Oh, a huge hit against the wall, and you know they felt that one. Well, and that's a tone setter. That's sending a message to every player on your team. Get involved physically, pay the price, use your body, and get the puck. Good reach of the stick to knock the puck away. Denied that one. Here's an opportunity to get the puck out of their own end. Then they get the puck out, and they needed that. Uh, they certainly did. This PK unit has been on fire. They get the clear. That's one. You kill valuable time. That's two. And now three. You can contest the entry. That's a great play all the way around. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck. Cuts into the paint. That one misses and will play on. Well, you spend so much time trying to create scoring chances. And when you do, you've got to find the back of the net. At the very least, hit it, James. Angles it over to Hartman. Strong defensive effort. Minnesota's ready to go on the attack. And that'll put a bow on the first 20 minutes of action here tonight. We've got lots more still to come. Second period is just around the corner. through the first 20 minutes played. The Ducks had an excellent first period and did everything right except put a goal up on the board, James. I mean, they've owned the puck in terms of possession time. They haven't been able to sneak one through. I think they need someone in front. More net front presence. Try and create a screen on every shot. Steps inside. Shot! And the lane's clogged up blocking that. Solid hit on the play and that knocks the puck off his stick. Passes it to Selwiger. Directs it on over to Vetrano. Oh, he got a little sliver on it, and it stays out. Minnesota's got it against the boards. And he takes the dish. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Carlson's picking up momentum through center. Sends it out in front. What a chance, but they can't connect. And it's a quick pass to Johansson. Down the right wing and into the offensive zone. Centering feed. Block shot. Jocelyn for the puck and he loses control. From the left wing, takes the feed. Terry's taking it from his own end. Oh, great core strength to hang onto the puck after that. Now a quick pass to Rossi. And he gives it over to Johansson. Minnesota's got it across the line. Here's 
a pass to the middle. And that's stopped. The Ducks gain control of the puck against the wall. They'll change things up on the back end as that's sent in deep. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Grabbed along the boards by Bogosian. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Now he takes it over the line. Quick feed to Zuccarello. Grabs the puck. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. From the open ice, they gain the line. Picks up the puck in his own end. Pumped away, good read on the play there by the keeper. Moves the puck up to Shaw. Change it up. Takes a shot. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? And that's intercepted by Lacombe. Anaheim's got it in their own zone. And he takes the feed. Right side set up ahead into the middle of the ice. Great save by Gustafson. Taken along the wall by Lettieri. Sends it in on the attack. Anaheim's going to play the puck from behind the cage. The Ducks scoop it up along the boards. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. The Wild have the puck in their own end. Here they come up along the wing. Grabs the puck in the corner. Here's a chance! And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Anaheim's crossed the line and on the attack. Gets a piece of it and will play on. He looks deep to Hartman. Down the left wing, across into the offensive end. Anaheim's got control of it now from their own end. Zellweger's lugging the puck. Moves it to Brew. Rocked him along the wall. As a power forward in the game, you go north-south, and guess what? You deliver bone-crushing hits, just like that one. The Ducks get a hold of the puck in the open ice. Quick pass to Johnston. Oh, he just got enough of that to keep it out. And that shot gets caught in traffic. And a good save on the play as action continues. Here in the later stages of this period, the game is still scoreless. Anaheim's got it, and they're on the attack. Denies him! He got all of it! Scrum along the boards, they battle for the puck. Cruz got it behind the net. Back to the point it goes! The Ducks have been pushing and pushing and pushing, and they finally get a goal here in period number two. I really like their game, James, and they haven't gotten frustrated, and that's a key element, especially when you're getting a ton of chances and you haven't been able to cash in. But they do execute, they convert, so this should open the game up for them. A centering feed! Couldn't complete the pass. Bumped off the puck. And he takes the pass. Oh, what a paddle save on the play! Well, that shot came quick, and it was right out front. He had to be sharp. He had to be right on it and show his brilliant reflexes. Makes a move in front, and he shuts the door on that. Scores! And the scratching and clawing has paid off as we are back to even. Well, we're back to evens, James, and I really like their game. I mean, when you're pushing and you're trying to find a way to get ahead and on top, you have to trust the process. That's exactly what they've done, and they've been rewarded for it. Well, that puck is on and off his stick in a hurry, and it needs to be from that low zone slot area. James just beats the goaltender because it gets off his stick so fast. Minnesota's push in the offensive end gets them the equalizer they needed. Yeah, and with impeccable timing too, James. Yeah, at the end of the period, you always know you want to maintain your composure, but you also want to create a ton of energy. You don't want to be scored on, but you certainly want to score a goal. They did just that. They got themselves back at evens in this game. Good hit on the play. Here's a chance. Oh, great reflex pad stopped by Gibson. 
And now it's over to Strom. Takes the feed at the point. There's the horn bringing period number two to an end. 40 minutes down, 20 to go. Third period action is coming up. Hey, hockey fans, follow the team all season long on the radio for every minute of play-by-play -play action, both home and away. For listening to the online simulcast. Both teams seem fresh after that second intermission. We're ready to drop the puck on period number three. We've had a great battle tonight through the first 40 minutes. Let's see if it continues here in the third. Pokes it away in his own end. Denies him on the one-timer. We're still in the early stages of this period. We are all tied up in this one. Carlson's won the draw. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. Oh, great save there. Back at the point, they set it up. Oh, what a save. Well, that doesn't swing momentum in your favor. I don't know what will, James. That's a last-ditch effort to make a play. What a beautiful save. I really want to look at this last save again, James, because this is about taking it to the next level. When you have this level of competitiveness, athleticism, and desperation and urgency in your game, you know that goaltending coach, they can't just teach this. This is instinctual, and this is what winners are made of. Centers are set, face-off ready to resume play. The Ducks win the defensive zone face-off. Anaheim's got possession of the puck. Redirected shot! Goaltender covers up, we got a stoppage in play. Nice job tying up his opponent. Let's see what the officials are calling. Hartman's stick work has resulted in a two-minute penalty for hooking. The Ducks send their man advantage unit out once more. Power plays more time on the ice, the ability to get that puck moving. These players know exactly what they're doing. They, well, you can't do that to find your way marching over to the box. Let's get the call. Control stick work will land him two minutes for slashing. Big opportunity here for them. They'll have plenty of time to work this five on three. With all this time on the five on three, yes, you can be more patient, but you don't want to get low to sleep on the outside. You have to move the coverage a little bit outside of the middle of the ice to be able to open up those lanes and execute. Stop some cold. Oh, here we go. This team knows how to turn it up another gear, and they have done that here. Grabs the puck along the boards. Tremendous cycle we're going. Let's go. Sets a power play goal. You gotta use it. They did it. Now they're ahead. This play does not happen without that beautiful pass, James. It's all about reading where the coverage is and knowing exactly how your teammate can skate onto that puck. And when you skate onto it, you have some speed. You can get that shot off the way you want, and he capitalizes perfectly. Anaheim's gone up by one here in period number three. Uh, you know that they recognize that they've got the lead in the third period, so they have to be defensively responsible, but you can't just sit back and protect. you got to be aggressive when you get the moment and take advantage of it. Oh, smart heads up play to put that one away. Gains the zone on the left wing. Reaches out and uses the stick. Carey's got it in the defensive end. Right up the gut into the offensive end. Blocker save. And somehow he hangs on. Off his stick. Gustafson's going to hang on to the puck and get a stoppage in play. Nothing gives confidence to a team more than a big save, and he's been doing it all night, James. Lucchini's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Goudreau's almost ready to get back on the ice. 
Both teams back to even strength. Really nice effort by the penalty killing unit on that one. Well, trailing in this game, James, this was a huge kill. They couldn't lose touch of the game, and they did an awesome job of killing that off. Works it across to Johansson. Up the neutral zone now. And that's poked away. Here he is in close. Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. Moves it quickly over to Kalorn. And that's off the club and will play on. Johansson's been tripped up, and we got a penalty coming up here. Important task for the PKers ahead of them, up by one, and a real opportunity protected. Minnesota's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. Well, they create a power play opportunity with hard work, and now it's an opportunity to get back in this game, James, finding a way to move the puck quickly and create seams to get shots on net. Minnesota's got the puck in the defensive end. And now he tries to get it across to Zuccarello. Shot! They score! Putting it home on the power play, and we have even things up here tonight. Right from the beginning of that power play, James, confidence about them, the way they own the puck, the precision in the movements, the motion in the offensive zone, and they cash in to tie this game. This is a great power play goal, James. They have the execution in terms of their passing along the outside, and then they attack the net with a shot. You have to have net front presence and create a screen. That's exactly what they have, and they capitalize as a result. The Wild have to protect their own end, but they've got the equalizer they needed, and can they push ahead now? Yeah, there's a lot of time left when you're looking at the third period right now, but they delivered the counterpunch, and it was a knockout, so the game is reset right now. And who's going to be victorious? That's the big question, James. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. Moves it to the middle, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Scrum along the wall. From the top of the offensive zone here. Quick feed to Matrano. Steps in front of that one. Great feed from the left side. Minnesota's got the puck against the half wall. Gibson's going to hang on to the puck for a whistle. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Anaheim's got possession here in their own end. The pass from the right side. Textbook poke check by Middleton. Here they come down the right side and on the attack. Intercepts the pass. Oh, and he gets a piece of the puck to deny them there. Oh, oh these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. And smacks the puck out of midair. Anaheim's got it in their own zone throws it in. The Wild have taken possession along the wall. Sends the cross ice pass. And now he moves it quickly to Zuccarello. Takes a shot. Makes a save. Cool and calm under pressure. Here's a short pass to Silverberg. Over the line they come. Minnesota's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Sends the pass over. Moves it to Zuccarello. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Gibson. Well, the shooter's going to run out of real estate because he does a great job of getting out of top of the crease and taking away all the room. When you make yourself as big as possible, there's less holes in the net. Tries to feed it over to Lundstrom. Picked off by Rossi. And he slides it quickly to Johansson. Floats it right onto the tape. Gibson's opted to hang on to the puck for a face-off. Kakanainen's trying to find a way to get back to the bench and not put his team in a vulnerable spot. You can see that he's been injured somewhere on the shift. He's laboring and he's wincing, but he's committed to the play. He's got to find the appropriate moment to get off. Getting into the later stages of this period, it's all tied up. Minnesota's got the puck inside the offensive zone. Here's a 
shot. And he comes up with the glove save. Gibson's been dialed in right from puck drop, James. I mean, he's made the key saves that he's need to make, and it's all about for a tender managing the momentum swings of the game and the timeliness of the saves have really given his team an opportunity. Quick pass to Shaw. And he takes a shot. Can't get it to go. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Moves it quickly over to Lindstrom. And now it's grabbed by Kalor. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. Denies that opportunity. Gustafson styled in and able to redirect that puck to the corner. Unreal pressure. Make it three in a row. They are really dialed in here tonight. Scores! The go-ahead goal puts them in front. Well, and this has been trending to happen, James, and it holds on the puck for the sense an upward trajectory as this game's progressed and they find the back of the net. So, Cheryl, do you protect or do you keep on pushing now? I think there's a fine balance here. I mean, you don't just want to play to hold on. You want to attack for the win, James, but you got to recognize where you are on the ice and you got to trust who you put out there. Oh, we got a piece meant to keep it out. Denies him again. You can certainly tell that the goaltender. Stay safe.